there's all these areas of stuff that will be absolutely done by AI in the next 18, 24 months. If your technology platform is exactly the same today that it was five years ago, you're probably out of business or you're going out of business. It has to evolve. It has to develop. It has your to mind's expand. The same way. I just see a world where there's a lot of things that require people to analyze, to extract insights that will be real time. So it's like, I have a lot of friends that are in the coaching space and I have this whole like AI coaching model I share with them where there's like, these are the areas of today where you and your team should be using AI. Okay. And it's around, you know, marketing yep. and curriculum design and all these things that are very like not hard to put together. But in the future, there's a lot of other areas you're not even considering. So for example, multilingual generative video. Okay. So if you can generate videos, so all of a sudden now all the training that you create internally is not even you anymore. It's essentially, you know, a virtual version of you, but it looks pixel perfect. Then you got to ask yourself, well, what happens with IP, right? Like, what mm -hmm. can I do with that? Can I license to somebody else that takes it, puts it through their model? Now they have all my best software stuff, yeah. my buddy's best finance stuff, this other guy's best family stuff, and it's all packaged into one thing. So like, there's all these areas of stuff that will be absolutely done by AI in the next 18, 24 months. Like, so if you're about to reshoot your course, wait, like, don't, don't do it. Like, give me eight months and I'll show you the technology keeps getting better and yeah, better. Yeah, I mean, and so people are watching videos and they're watching me, but it's not me, it's my AI. AI version. They get phone calls from me. Yeah. It's my AI yeah. version. General voice, all that stuff. And so and if you saw the videos, you would not know it's my AI version. You can't go do a 20 minute AI video, but you can put a phenomenal video together with little, little cuts yeah. in the middle of it, explaining something that's all AI generated. Yeah. And yet it looks a hundred percent like that's it's, it. It's like all it's, dynamic. I mean, even a lot of the uh, sales development reps, there's some new AI tech that is like literally calling your prospects, acting as a person it's not a person. So you have a whole team of people, or you might have hundreds of people that are outbound setters that essentially go away with one monthly payment. A hundred percent. And so it's a more sophisticated conversation because they've got the training set exactly every, what to say. Yeah. And it gets better based on the more it learns from the customer base and the market changes. Oh yeah. The interest rates are up. So I can't say this anymore. Yep. It doesn't work. Like it'll be way better than your team could ever figure it out faster. Now what's cool for me is then asking myself the question. This is why I teach my coaching friends is what will never change. To yep. Jeff Bezos's comments around like customers always want it cheaper, faster, you know, higher selection. So it's like anything that allows us to do that, we'll invest in that. And I call that neural transformation, right? Like there's as a coach or really a leader, there's certain things, as long as we have our, you know, our wet operating system, our brains, you know, leading ourselves until Neuralink jumps in with a brain yep. machine interface, et cetera, which will, could happen, should happen, maybe, I don't know. But the neural transformation is you know, around the belief set. It's all the mindset stuff, right? Like you, you work with so many entrepreneurs, like I'm sure you're staring at people going like, do you realize that you are the thing stopping you? I wrote exactly. a book I specifically, book. yeah, know, nine figure mindset this. because yeah. people are like, oh my God, how did you? It's like, look, to get to nine figure, it's really super simple. To get to a nine figure mindset, you first got to get to a six figure mindset. To get from a six figure to a seven figure, you got to change what you're doing and how you're doing it. Now to go from seven to eight, it gets more complicated, but it's the same theory. Yeah. Switch what you're doing, do it different, up level yourself. And then when you can multiply through other people, teaching them to do what you did to get to six to seven to eight, you're going to go to nine. And yeah. then if you get enough people that you can teach to do what you did to get to nine, you're going to go to 10. And then when you do that, you get an opportunity to go to 11, but you're not going to go from six to nine and skip. Those are the breakpoints. I yeah. mean, you got personal breakpoints, professional breakpoints and financial breakpoints. And if you don't acknowledge and accept that you have to literally be a different person to get to a seven, an eight, a nine, a 10 or 11 than you were to get to a six. If you don't just acknowledge that and accept it right now and then ask yourself this honest question, what am I doing every day to develop myself and be in the right circles and learn new things and get different results so I can build my confidence in to moving technically to the next level. And what I love when I'm talking to a technology person is you get that from a technological standpoint. If your technology platform is exactly the same today that it was five years ago, you're probably Probably out of business or you're going out of business it has to evolve it has to develop it has your to mind's expand the same way mine's exactly the same way and so is your activities your mm. actions